Welcome to walkowner.com. Today I'm going to show you how to take this pineapple and we're going to cut it up and put it in our wok with some vegetables and chicken. So if you want to see how it's done, stay tuned and I'll be right back. Alright, we're about ready to go here. What I did is I took some frozen vegetables out and I put them in a strainer. Uh, covered some cold water on them and then I drained the water out and now the uh, vegetables are drip drying basically. Over here I got, I'm going to put some onions in. I'm, I've got uh, white onions and red onions. Uh, whatever you have in the uh, refrigerator is fine. I've got some brown long grain rice I'm going to dump in here. Uh, you like that dump? And then pineapple, I cut that pineapple up and that's what I'm going to put in a little later on. Of course I have teriyaki sauce that I'll touch it up a little bit. I chopped up some garlic We'll put that in later, and I got some sliced almonds, and then I got some fried onion rings uh, or onions that I'm going to put in as a topping. Over here, I've got the meat. This has been marinating for two days now in teriyaki sauce, so that's going to turn out real nice. The wok I'm going to use today is a round bottom wok by Kraft Wok. You can see it's very well seasoned, and I am going to use it on a uh, gas stove. And I don't mind it moves a little bit. I've used it before; it doesn't bother me. Uh, so that's about it. Let's get going with this and I'll be right back. All right, to begin with I'm going to use some grapeseed oil. You can see it right here. It's really good. It has a nice high temperature, smoke, smoke point I guess you call it. So I'm going to put a little bit of it in my wok here. I'm not going to put about that much. You don't need too much. Maybe about two and a half or two tablespoons. This is not rocket scientist. Rocket scientist? Rocket science. We'll get it right. I'm going to turn my heat up to about eight a little bit under high and this is going to get kind of hot here normally I would put the fan on but I don't want to do that because of uh, the, the noise that it's going to create and while that's doing that I'm going to take my knife that I cut everything up with here and I'm going to start putting this onions in the, in the bowl you want to try to prepare everything ahead of time because this usually goes pretty fast. Then you don't have to say, oh gee, I forgot to do my onions or I forgot to uh, get my vegetables out. You can just about do anything you want with this. And I am today. I'm, I decided, you know, I have a taste for some pineapple. It'll offset the, uh, the flavor of the vegetables and the, the chicken. Marinated, mari marinated, not marinated, marinated chicken. Oh, I know why I forgot. I forgot to my glass of Pinot Grigio. I can't cook without that. So I'll be right back. There we go. We got all uh, ready to go here. Let's put this in here. It's starting already. See, it's nice and fluid. I want it to, co to coat, it, coat the side. This uh, is a 14-inch wok by Kraft Wok. It's really a nice wok. Let's put that in there. Like this. And I'm going to grab my wine and I'll be right back. I'm using a, uh, before I get my wine, I'm using a Helen Chen uh, bamboo spatula. And I really like these a lot. And I've got this other one here, I'll show you, reach across you, that I've used before. And some of my cooking demonstrations. These are nice too. But for some reason I just really like this one. Today I'm going to use that's what I'm going to use. So get my wine, I'll be right back. Uh, today I'm going to drink some uh, Pinot Grigio by Charles Shaw. This is, comes out of Trader's, Trader Joe's store. You think this is for the, the, the food, but it's for me. And I might throw a little in the food too, so. There's happy cooking. Oh, yum. All right. Leave it around. Smelling good already. I'm going to have these brown a little bit. Get myself a plate off to the side so I don't make too much of a mess. And I'm going to put a little of the fresh pepper in here. I gotta get a new grinder, one of those big wooden ones, I think. This just doesn't put out the pepper I want. 
and I'm going to use some Himalayan salt. We'll let that cook for a minute. I got some more here I'm going to get out. What I'm going to do later on is when I get the chicken in, I'm going to start using some of this Weber uh, kicking chicken as a spice. I really like that. This has a nice flavor. And then uh, over the vegetables and over the chicken, I might even put some garlic and herb, more garlic. So let's put some more salt on this. It's doing fine. You don't want to be a in a rush when you do this. And today, since everybody's got coronavirus on the mind, I see a lot more people are shopping or are actually cooking in, at home. You can only eat so much at the fast food restaurants. And then, you know, it's better and healthier if you make stuff at home. All right, I'm going to let this cook down a little bit, and then I'll be right back, and uh, we'll continue on. There we go. We're back. This is browning up really nicely. Uh, one thing I forgot, the ingredients I told you about, I had to get them out, was my water chestnuts. I love water chestnuts. So I'm going to throw that in there, too, just for something else to do. I might put those in right now because they're a little harder. You know, the order that you add your ingredients is really up to you. I always like to put my onions in first and then my meat. And then once I get in like this here, I should probably, when I get the meat in here, I'm going to mix it all together with the onions and the water chestnuts. And then I'll put the garlic in because I want the garlic to uh, infiltrate the flavor into uh, what I always made. And this will go into a side plate and then I'll empty everything out, put the vegetables in, and at the end I'll put everything back together again. All the ingredients I will uh, be putting down below so uh, you're not missing out on anything, which I don't think it would be anyway. Oh man, it's time for another shot of wine. Thanks a lot. The meat, uh, what I do is, I make, these are, uh, I've got chicken breast, usually I use, but this is chicken thighs, and I cut it up in little chunks. So they're all about the same thighs. And why do I do that, you may ask? Because when I put them in the wok, they'll all get done basically at the same time. And then I marinate them. I happen to use teriyaki sauce. This here, right there. But you know what? You can use anything you want. That's what's nice about this. One of my next dishes I'm going to make is uh, a wok with uh, shrimp. That should be interesting. We've got a store here called Fresh Markets. It's local. And I can buy just about any type of Chinese vegetable in there that I want. So it's going to be a new experience. So I'm going to put a little more salt in, more flavoring. The nice thing about Himalayan salt, it takes about four teaspoons of this to equal one teaspoon of the regular white Morton salt. So even though it seems like I'm putting a lot of salt in, I'm really not. And not only that, Himalayan salt's got a lot more minerals in it than uh, the uh, white salt. I don't think it has iodine in it, though. I'll have to check on that. I got too much stuff to check. You guys can look at that. So, it's looking good, huh? Sounds good, too. You want your onions to turn kind of golden brown like they are right now. Some people call them candied, I guess, but I don't like the word candy because there's no sugar, basically, I'm using. And to make sure, what I'll, sometimes I'll do is I'll take a, a fork... like I'm doing right now. And I'll take the smallest, uh, let's say I'll take this one out, just to taste it to see if it's done. Oh yeah. Oh. Okay. See, you can scratch the bottom of this all you want, and you don't harm the, the coating on the seasoning. So I'm going to put a little bit more oil in there. Then we're going to add our chicken. I usually call it meat, but it's not. It's chicken. It's a fowl. Okay, just open up the bag here. A little dumper in. There we go. Let's 
I'll spread it out just a little bit. Nice thing about a hand hammered wok. Now I'm going to put the, uh, the chicken, chicken, chicken on here. You don't have to, but I, I like it. Or any other spice you want. Chicken flavoring spice. Just to enhance it a little bit. That's enough. And heck, I'll just throw a little garlic in there too. Garlic and herb seasoning. I got this at uh, either Sam's Club or uh, Costco. We'll put it over everything. I don't want to overdo it though. And now we're just going to mix the chicken around here and leave the other stuff there. You have to be careful careful with chicken that uh, you get it done. You don't want to stir it in together right now while it's still pink and red. So I usually prepare this by itself. And then I'll move the, the wok off to the side so that gets, the flames get directly underneath the, uh, the chicken. I just keep kind of flipping it around. Then as it gets done a little bit more, I'll take it and I'll cut one of these pieces in half with this uh, uh, bamboo spatula. And I want to take a look at the inside. If it's still red, I know that i got to uh, cook it a little bit more, walk it more, fry it more, cook it more. You know what I mean. It really smells good. I don't know. I wish you guys could smell this. I have a walk burner outside that I'll probably do some demonstrations this summer, but right now it's rainy out and I just don't want to go outside. I'm going to do it here. You see, it's just a round bottom walk. You can, it's perfectly fine. It's got a, a wooden handle on it. Really a heavy gauge uh, carbon steel pan. Now I'll cut some of this in half and we'll see. Yeah, it's a little pinkish yet. You usually want to take the biggest piece and cut it like that. And then separate it. It's turning, it's turning nice. A couple more minutes, we'll leave it in there. If you overcook it, the chicken, then it gets hard and tough, and I don't like that. I like it nice and juicy and tender when you bite into it. Try to some pieces and look at it. Oh yeah, it's coming along nice. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to mix it all together. Let all the flavors, you like the word, infuse to each other. Boy, that looks good right there. Now, just to be on the safe side, so I don't poison anybody, I'm going to take a piece of chicken and I'm going to taste it and see how it is. Yep. Done. Let's just leave this a uh, little bit longer. Oh, I've got to do put the garlic in. Put the garlic in. Move that around. If you make big chunks of the garlic I have, like I have here, it won't burn. Otherwise, garlic burns. Got made more than enough oil in there. We don't have to add any more. Leave this up for a minute, and then I'll get my vegetables ready here. Right now I've got a drip line basically, like this here, in a uh, strainer. Because when they come out of the uh, freezer department, they're kind of clumped together because of the little ice. And you got to get that ice off, otherwise there's too much water. Or if you use a uh, Fresh cut vegetables, you don't have to worry about that. Just make sure you cut them up in small pieces. It's just more convenient to use the uh, frozen one. Alright, just enough right now. I'm going to take this. Let me turn this off. And I'm going to put that. Just so you can see it. It's heavy. Put this like this. Watch me spill it. Okay, I'm going to have to touch that. It's going to be really hot. I'm going to use this here. Okay, good. Just like that. We'll get the rest of it out in a second. I have to re-grip it. Whoop! Didn't spill it. All right. 
you can see it's still in one piece. But my walk may not be. <laughs> okay. We're going to turn the heat back on to high to about 8. Then we're going to take all the vegetables and let them right in there. Usually there's enough water in the vegetables at this point that you don't have to add anymore. Sometimes I'll, order, I'll uh, add maybe a, you know, just a quarter of a, a cup or a couple of teaspoons, which I might do right now. About that much. That's enough. And I'm just going to give it one little shot of oil. Put it on the side. Good, that's it. We'll just let that cook for a little bit. Let that get nice and hot and we'll stir fry that and I'll be right back. Stay tuned. Sometimes you'll find that, uh, remember I added a little water in there. I'll push the vegetables off to the side. And I'll take this water, excess water here, and remove it from the wok. You don't have to if you don't want to, if you want to. Take your time and let it uh, burn off, you can. And just take a little bit off, like that. Because the rest of it will actually, the rest of the water will mix in very nicely with the rice and the, uh, the meat and the onions that I made before. I had some extra, um, what did I call it? This is called, uh, you can see that frajita skillet. There was a little bit left in the, here in the freezer, so I took that and threw it in. Ned even had his little, little chicken. I had this before. It's really nice if you can find it. I think I got this at Sam's Club. I was in there the last couple days. I didn't see it. Now I'm going to take my almonds, my sliced almonds, and I'm going to put those in. Mix them around. Usually I'll put them in now rather than later, because if I put them in later, this gets pretty full, and when you stir it around, what happens, it goes flying all over the stove. So, very scientific, right? So far, so good. And if you don't like meat, you can put fish in here. Cod or salmon. Maybe I'll make one of those up. I've got to look up a recipe and I'll, maybe I'll throw the one of those in. Alright, what I'm going to do now, the big step, we're going to put the meat, the meat, the chicken, the onions, the garlic, all in together. Good. Put that back here. And I want all the flavors to kind of melt together as one. Looking good. Oh, man. We have to add the rice and the pineapple in. So the pineapple I'm going to add in right now, quite a bit of pineapple. This way, if you have a lot of pineapple, people aren't fighting for this piece of pineapple or that piece. There's enough for everybody. That kind of offsets the flavor of the the wok dish. You like that wok dish? <laughs> Looking good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now I'm going to put the rice in. This is long grain brown rice. I forgot the brand, but just any any type of rice, whatever you whatever you like. If you like short grain basmati rice or long grain basmati. Hey, that's what you want to put in. And I'll make sure that this is nice and warm before I serve it because the rice, of course, is in the refrigerator and it's cold. I'm going to make sure it's nice and warm. You want to just keep stirring it. I'm glad they have that handle on this wood handle because I just tucked myself over here. And the, on the, uh, can you see that right there? <laughs> it's really hot. Yep, 
looking good. Look at that. Wow. All right, I'm going to leave that set for a few minutes. Let it heat up nicely. Keep stirring it. You don't need to be bored with that, so I'll be right back. Stay tuned. All right, I'm back. What I did is, I, while you were gone, uh, doing something in the other room, what I did is I put a little more terry. I kind of dribbled a little bit more on the top and mixed it up. Had another glass of my wine and stirred it around a little bit more. I tasted it and it's just absolutely wonderful, guys. You're not going to go wrong if you make something like this. Is it quick? No, but I'll tell you something. It's easy and if you have leftovers in the refrigerator, which probably we all do today, uh, an easy way to uh, not throw them away and to make them into something absolutely wonderful. Alright, what I'm going to do now, the final step, I'm going to put some of these uh, crunchy I'll show you what they are. These are uh, deep fried onion, like onion rings or parcels, parcels of onions. You can put it on now or you can put it on later. And this is the brand I use, French's, right here. French's uh, crispy fried onion. They are really good. They go out good on everything. You get a nice little crunch and there you have it. A pineapple stir fry with chicken and vegetables, garlic, salt, pepper, uh, let's see, uh, those little potatoes, I always forget what they are, you know what they are, but I hope you enjoyed this, take a look in the corners, I got some other recipes and some demonstrations where I'm stir frying, so I really hope that you enjoyed this video and learned something from it, we're going to take some now and put it in our plate, wow, that's good, water chestnuts, that's what they call them, look at that, oh my goodness, with the pineapple. And I'm going to take a little bit more of these onion rings and kind of sprinkle them on the top and there you have it. Beautiful. Talk to you later. Hope you enjoyed this. Leave your comments below and please uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more of these and you'll get notified via email. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.